Yeah, sit there and stare at my ugly mug on that screen. You you know you want to do it. You know you want to sit there and stare at my ugly face. Let's talk about Jim Ross. Come on, let's talk about Jim Ross. He's um, it's funny. He responded the other day to the criticism uh, that he got about the uh, you know, because everybody you know, I think he finally heard. You know, people making fun of him about the remember the Raw Twenty Five appearance. Him and Jerry Lawler. People are kind of making fun of that. You know, and then they went to Saudi Arabia and they just look cooked. OK, which, um, you know, I, I get the I, I get that someone's going to make comments because they did. They look like they were corpses on the flight. You know, and I love Jim Ross. He knows that it's not even a thing. But again, I didn't I didn't write anything about it because just, yeah, I mean, a couple of over 60 year old guys who constantly are flying everywhere all the time. And now they're on a trip to Saudi Arabia. You know, come on. I mean, Jim Ross has friggin Bell's palsy. He's 60s. He's I don't, know, I don't know if he's on a red eye, whatever you call it. I mean, he was he was just I mean, that's a flight, dude. I'd be I would be a crippled mess and I'm thirty three. And I'd be a crippled mess on that fucking flight. Okay? So he talked about this on his podcast uh earlier. Here's just a little snippet. And uh I got uh you know, criticized by on Twitter some little gutless pissant. God, this audio sounds like shit. Gutless pissant. I love it. Oh, by the way, um if anybody uh, can't find Jim Ross anymore, I think it's uh he switched over to Westwood One because of the allegations of Podcast One being scam artists at this point. So I believe he's now on. He's jumped the ship over to Westwood One as well. And uh, and so let's hear some more what Jim Ross has to say about this. He also had some comments about the women. That was kind of people thought that was messed up, but I think he might maybe he just doesn't understand. I don't know, or, or he was misquoted, uh, perhaps. You know, I don't know. But let's hear this and. Um, Guys, if you didn't hear monetize this, it's up on youtube.com slash corrupted podcast. I have three YouTube channels. It's very simple. Sub all three channels and you'll be done. Vance that wanted to say JR looked either stoned or drunk. I can assure you. I go with drunk. You don't get stoned or drunk when you visit Saudi Arabia. Nope. Unless you really (laughs) are looking forward to meeting, you know, uh, Omar at the at the prison. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, um, I don't even know this, and I should have looked it up, but I believe he's referring to the fact that I think it's illegal or something, or you can't drink there, or I don't know, you can't drink if you're white, I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think that's it, but I, it's something like that. But anyway, that's it, man. Get, cut Jim Ross some slack, man. 60-year-olds flying over there, what do you expect? Plus, you know, I mean, but, you know, cause they couldn't get these guys to WrestleMania, but they had to truck them over there because the women weren't allowed to go. You know, and then Jim Ross also made comments about he didn't think the women should be paid because the women got paid even though they were they, they were unable to go to Saudi Arabia. And then Jim Ross made some sort of uh, he made some statements claiming that it was like, you know, it's like WrestleMania. You earn your spot. You earn your spot. And if you're on the card, you get paid. If you didn't do enough to earn your spot, you don't get paid. But uh, so he didn't agree with the women getting paid. But is he not aware that the women just weren't even allowed to go there? So it's not it's not really a situation of the women didn't earn the spot. Um, I It's a situation where the, the women weren't allowed to have a spot. So that's why they were paid. I think maybe Jim Ross is, didn't realize that or wasn't thinking when he was quoted or it's misquoted somehow. I gotta, I've tried to find the quote. I couldn't find it. Um, so it could be one of those two things. I don't know. I'm not sure of the situation. Also, uh... Real quick, uh, Patreon guys, I, I am uploading links now to my Dropbox. So if you if you are someone that doesn't like to go back and find all 50 previous episodes of Corrupted Podcast, let's say you're a $2 a month patron. If you want all, all, all 40-something episodes of Corrupted and you don't want to go through them all and download them, and I guess some of them are missing because Patreon's fucked up. Um, what isn't fucked up nowadays? Uh... I am providing a link for you guys that I'll that I'll be putting in a category, featured category, where you guys can download. You go to the link and it shows you all 40 episodes and you can mass download them all so you can keep them forever. Even if you just sign up for $2 a month and then you quit and cancel the whole thing, you'll still have those 40 episodes you can download. Um, you know, you won't get the future episodes, obviously. So just make sure, uh, you know, if you can be a patron, be a patron. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Thank you to Alex Ron. Uh, Big Rick, and of course, Jumbo Jet Joe from New York for becoming $5 a month patrons on the Cronin Club. Thank you, guys. You guys make this show possible. Thanks for listening. Leave a comment down below, guys. What do you think about Jim Ross and what he said? Do you think he looked, they look like shit and they just, you know, you think that Twitter was right to rang on him, rank on him, rang on him? What the hell is that? Ring a bell, bam. 
Um, I don't know. Leave it down below. What do you think about his comments on women uh, not getting paid? I think he was just... I think he was a little bit confused. There's a lot of shit going on in wrestling right now, and for these guys who are, you know, at retirement to still sort of be playing with the business and then have all these different things going on left and right and be pulled in several different directions, I think sometimes it can just get a little bit hectic and they and you lose track of certain things. So I don't think he meant any malice by it. I think he was just... He kind of forgot the circumstances, I think. Um, but anyway, that's my opinion. You guys can listen to Jim Ross' full interview uh, on my uh, Patreon as well that I did recently. Um, guys, I, I'm going to be streaming in a few minutes on Corrupted YouTube channel, doing a Q&A with you guys, so that'll be fun. I'll be live in a few. I'll be seeing Avengers tonight. And, of course, Corrupted Podcast is live tonight on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show um, just after midnight at 1 a.m. in the morning, technically Sunday, but tonight, Eastern Time. Corrupted Podcast, guys, tonight. Don't miss it. Thanks for listening. I'll see you later.